It is recommended the surface be prepared to SSPC, SP6, NACE 3 commercial blast standards prior to RD6 application. If this is not feasible, then a power buff or hand wire brush is recommended. Remove all mill scale, loose rust, frost, dust, moisture, any visible oil and grease, weld splatter, and any other foreign matter. If power tools are used in the cleaning process, a polished surface should be avoided. Using a rosebud or tiger torch, heat the cutback area of the pipe to a minimum of 50 degrees Fahrenheit to remove any presence of moisture. In extremely cold weather, the pipe should be heated to between 140 and 160 degrees in order to keep the pipe warm throughout the application. For detailed temperature specifications, refer to the Polyguard RD6 application instructions on the website. Feather the edge of the mainline coating where the RD6 will be applied using sandpaper, sanding disc, or brush blasting. Using a clean brush or cloth, remove any residue left from sanding or brushing and wipe the entire surface with either acetone or MEK. After properly preparing the surface, apply a thin even coat of Polyguard 600 liquid adhesive to the weld area with a clean brush or roller, extending the adhesive at least two inches further onto the mainline coating from where the applied RD6 will start and finish. Begin the installation with the coating facing down at the 3 o'clock position and at least 2 inches onto the mainline coating. Spirally coat the weld area in the direction of the cradling with an approved machine making all necessary manual or machine adjustments to accomplish a uniform, wrinkle-free, tightly adhered coating with a 50% overlap. Continue to coat the weld area and finish in the 9 o'clock position at least 2 inches onto the main line coating. Holiday detect the weld area at a speed of 1 foot per second. For safety information, view the material safety data sheets on the Polyguard website.